Welcome to Solar Basics. I'm Kelsey Misbrenner, Senior Editor of Solar Power World. And I'm Billy Lute, Associate Editor. Decommissioning solar systems is a current issue that will come to a head in the next couple of decades. Solar systems are long lasting under the right conditions, yet arrays are regularly put out of commission today. Decommissioning can happen when owner operators discover manufacturing defects in panels from a company that no longer exists. Panel technology is outdated or a commercial customer simply needs to replace roof coverings and doesn't plan to reinstall the array. Physically tearing down a solar array is essentially doing an installation in reverse. In practice, it's not very complicated, but there are important initial considerations, like where the components will end up upon completion. Some EPCs that do decommissioning work try to recycle as much of the old array as possible, scrapping metal or selling used panels to people that can still use them. Teardown time varies by project size. For the larger commercial scale rooftop removals, it takes EPCs like Verdant Project Management about three to four weeks. Decommissioning is the same setup as a construction site. The array is fenced off, lavatories and safety equipment are set up, and containers are left to fill with scrap. Skid steers are used to feasibly move a large amount of remaining scrap on the ground. The first step in teardown is locking out the array from producing any more energy and making sure it's no longer feeding into the grid. On commercial rooftop systems, wind deflectors are removed first, then mounts, wiring, and any other metal component that isn't going to a buyer is scrapped. A forklift helps to safely transport pieces of the array from a rooftop worksite to the ground. Panels are stacked and palletized, and wiring and metal conduits are removed. Inverters can be taken apart, and internal components are sold as spare parts with the metal container scrapped. These steps are repeated until the array is cleared, and then the site is cleaned. Structural holes where the array was mounted are filled, landscaping where wiring was entrenched is repaired, and repainting takes place where it's needed. Solar projects can last a long time, but system owners should have a plan in place for when they reach the end of their lifespans. For more on decommissioning, read our story online and stay tuned for the next Solar Basics video.